So you might be in a situation where you're wanting to go through and fix your iPhone if for some reason the applications are downloading very, very slow. So what does this mean? Well, basically you might have your phone like this and you might be seeing that the applications when you're downloading them from the app store are taking a very long time to download. Number one, the first thing you wanna do is double check your internet connection. So go through, you know, find your Wi-Fi connection, find your internet connection that you have and just double check and make sure that your Wi-Fi connection and your internet connection are properly good. If they are not good, if you're running into a lot of problems where your Wi-Fi connection is not good, well, that's going to be the number one issue you might run into there. So try double checking that. You might want to see if that's the issue because for a lot of people that might end up being the problem. Now, if that doesn't end up fixing the problem, you could also just double check the space that you have inside of your device as well. So scroll back into your iPhone settings, click on your general settings, which is right here. Go ahead and click on iPhone storage. And all you're going to want to do is just go ahead and see if you do have some storage you know, issues. If you're almost running out of storage, then that could be an issue. But if you're not running out of storage almost, the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and just see if you can software update your iPhone. Sometimes certain versions of software give you some weird issues. So click inside of your iPhone settings like this. Click on your general option, which is right here. Tap on software update, which is right there. And all you're going to want to do here is basically software update your phone. And I think that's going to be another thing you might want to try doing there as well. If that's still not working, you can also just double check, you know, like to see if the servers are down. And you can do that by going over to a website like downdetector.com or is it downrightnow.com. One of those types of websites to see if, you know, it's basically down. And if it's down, you're basically just going to have to wait it out until they end up fixing it. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.